What's going on everybody? It's Eric Ray with the back here and in today's video I'm gonna be going over five big things you can expect to come to Madden 22 very soon with the post launch updates Of course every year with the game We know we get multiple updates sometimes two updates a month Sometimes these are to fix issues in the game But usually each update is adding something to the game or every other update is adding new things to the game Updating certain things that are already in the game, which is good for the life of the game It's something we've come to expect in 2021 the game we get at launch is not the game we end the year with we have the capability to update things throughout the year to patch things to fix things to put new things in and that is always a big part of every year what is going to be added to the game and a lot of people want to know now we already know of some things that are coming to the game like the scouting update in a few weeks i did an entire breakdown on that yesterday of exactly how it works and what it looks like so if you did miss that video it is linked below in the pinned comment but today we're going to focus on some other things that people might not know about that are expected to come to the game anytime over the next couple of months and of course if you're new to the channel and you don't want to miss out on any of these news or updates or any of these new things when they drop make sure to subscribe turn the bell icon on so you don't miss these videos when they go live now the first thing on this list is something that i think will make a lot of people happy and that is more franchise mode updates and i'm not talking about the scouting system because we've talked about it enough like i said video link below if you want to see more about it but we know that's coming within the next I would say probably about three weeks. We know that that's coming. They've confirmed it is coming in the October update. They haven't given an official date, but they said mid-October update, it will be in there. And they pretty much guaranteed it this time, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about the other franchise mode updates that are gonna come out throughout the year. Much like they did in Madden 21, they're going to do multiple post-launch updates just dedicated to franchise mode because what happened last year is once people finally hit their breaking point with franchise mode, just not getting the love it deserved, they knew that they had to go in and start updating things multiple times throughout the year because just doing it in the development cycle from year to year only gives you so much time to add things. And with this mode being so laughably far behind what's expected in 2021, they need to use the actual life of the game and the ability to do post-launch updates to help it get up to speed even faster so what are they going to do this year well they have confirmed certain things like updating the skill trees for the coaching staff that was one of the big things they finally returned to the game this year was the coaching staffs but they added the skill trees on to these coaching staffs which is actually very important because it makes them have more of an actual impact on the franchise and not just be a visual thing that doesn't actually make anything different they said there's going to be tons of new skill trees coming out just for the coaches but also for the player personnel department and this is a big one because this is what helps you in scouting players when the new scouting system does come into the game this helps you with free agents and trades and all that good stuff there's going to be a bunch of skill trees coming but there's even other things that they've hinted on that they said they're going to try to get in this year like updating the trading maybe adding more trade slots there updating free agency which is an area that we know needs to be updated because it's very bland it's not a lot of not a lot of uh, difficulty in signing free agents and just a lot of the little things they still need to do things with contracts they definitely have talked about wanting to add that into where you can restructure contracts and front load them and back load them are all of these things going to happen this year no but a lot of these things have the potential to happen because they're things that they have talked about and we know there's going to be at least three post-launch updates the first one will be the scouting one but the next two that come after that it's open to a lot of different things that could be added to the game to help the life of franchise mode relocation teams is something that i don't think they're going to touch this year it could actually be for a good thing though if they've decided to just bring back create a team next year which i think is a possibility then there really would be no reason for them to update the relocation teams if you're going to build a whole new creative team system next year because if you remember relocation is one of the things they said that they were looking to do this year and they haven't touched it and it looks like they're not going to touch it which to me means we actually might get creative team next year which would be the better option and what people want so just something to think about but that of course has not been confirmed. They've also talked about expanding the season engine or scenario engine, whatever you want to refer to it as in franchise mode, adding more scenarios throughout the year. I think this one has pretty much been confirmed. It launched with a good bit of scenarios and they definitely upgraded this from the old system, which was way, way worse, but there's still a lot of other things they can and will be adding to this. So you can expect that to be coming throughout the year. So if you're a person that does play the game, you know, past the first couple of months of the year, you're going to start running into probably some of the same scenarios or the same situations happening 
everything so having these be updated and refreshed is actually something that can help the life of the mode so that you don't get bored with the feature number two on the list is something that they update every single year pretty much throughout the year and that's equipment but this year they've talked about a lot of equipment that could be coming to the game post launch now we already saw them open up a few weeks ago with a bunch of the older throwback uniforms they added a, a decent amount of new throwback uniforms to the game which is also something people like but equipment is really a big deal to a lot of people there's a lot of equipment heads that play this game and there's still a ton of equipment that is actually missing from the game now i will say over the last like three years they've been doing a pretty good job at updating this every year they haven't really let it fall by the wayside they've always added new cleats new gloves new face masks new helmets they even finally brought back the mouthpieces last year that people have been wanting for like i don't know how long but there's still a number of other things that they talked about they're trying to get in with the post launch updates this year one of those things being baggy sleeves for the players the undershirts but also just the sleeves on the jerseys themselves they talked about things like padded arm sleeves which you've seen ton of players wearing some people wear the regular shooter sleeves a lot of people wear the padded sleeves they also even talked about changing the sleeves so they don't look painted on which has been a complaint from a lot of people they don't look like real sleeves whereas if you go to the yard in that mode they actually look like real sleeves and they said it has something to do with the player models but as they're updating the player models more and more each year they're going to be changing the equipment so that it looks more lifelike as well especially on the new consoles they also talked about things like hand warmers and towels which people have also complained about for years they wanted to be more adjustable and customizable right now you can only wear them in the front most players in the nfl wear them to the back those are other things that they talked about that they're trying to do post launch for madden 22 and there's going to be a bunch of other little things in here as well like different face masks and helmets and cleats and gloves that they could be updating because they do that every single year so if you're an equipment head expect at some point this year for there to be more equipment added to the game now number three kind of goes hand in hand with this but i wanted to give it its own spot in the video because i think it's a bigger deal and that is actually the customization of certain equipment mainly cleats and gloves now this is something that really should be in the game it, i pretty much think it's in every other sports game it's one thing to have the cool equipment the cool cleats and gloves and everything else but the ability to customize them specifically when it comes to cleats right we see all the time in the nfl people wearing custom cleats these crazy designs now i know we're not going to probably be able to put like crazy logos and stuff on them but they did talk about actually changing the colors of the cleats to you know kind of to your liking and they even mentioned that they brought in a new art director for this kind of stuff that's on the same page with them and this is what they want to work towards and i think that is kind of a big thing to note is the fact that they actually brought in a new art director means that they know it's important because if this was not something that was a priority for them they wouldn't bother bringing in a new art director but they did so i think that is a big thing going forward if you like customizing your equipment which it's 2021 we should be able to do that that should be coming later this year also number four in the list kind of goes hand in hand with this and that is custom tattoos another thing that just makes no sense why is this not in the game in 2021 you look at like nba 2k for example and you can completely tat your guy up from head to toe with a bunch of different options and with madden pushing modes like face of the franchise in the yard so hard even though the modes are just way far behind again everything is way far behind it seems like when it comes to madden even though those modes are far behind the bar that has been set by other games they are still modes that they are pushing heavily and they're building upon every year and if you don't have the ability to have good customization with modes like that it makes them not as fun to play and for a created player everybody wants to put custom tattoos on their player you look at 2k you don't really ever see too many custom players in 2k that doesn't have some type of tattoo on them right because it's a cool thing that we expect to be able to do in a video game this is something else that they've actually talked about for years and again bringing in a new art director means this is definitely something they're moving towards and this could be brought in a post-launch update for 22 i'm gonna say that i think this one probably won't be i feel like this will be like for a few future game but it is something they have mentioned a few times so there is a possibility of it and last but not least number five on the list there's going to be multiple playbook and play updates this year they really did not do a good job this last year they did one small update and they didn't really talk about it much but coming into this year they did a lot of updates before the game came out to the playbooks they changed a lot of playbooks around they added quite a few new formations and plays but they're definitely working right now from last i've heard of adding more to the game very soon especially looking at what teams are doing in real life so that is something thing no matter what mode you play it's always nice to get more formations and plays added to the game because it's fun to experiment and try different things so that's going to be all for today guys make sure to check out these other videos right here on the screen you're not doing anything else right now go check them out and i will see you guys next time